Hey, how y'all doing? This is Cooking with Dave once again. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef. I know that I am because it says so right here on my apron. Today I'm trying something. I've been challenged by a couple of friends. I got a friend out in California, Aaron. Aaron said, can you make me some pupusa? I said, what's pupusa? I went and read up on it and found out it's a Salvadoran tortilla, pretty much. So I went out and got myself some mesa which is just some corn flour that we're going to make some pupusa out of. I think this whole dish is just going to be wonderful. I'm going to have this even for dinner. Let me show you how we put it together. All right, here we are at the cast iron skillet. I put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan, and I'm going to put one chopped up onion in that pan. That's about a chopped up onion right there. We have two onions for this, but one we're going to start off with, and then we're going to use the other one for the sauce. I'm going to make a sauce for this. It's going to be good. So onions, I'm going to use about two teaspoons of garlic. Save a little bit of garlic too. I'm going to get them sweating out a little bit. You know how we do. And we're going to stir fry this beef and get it seared on all sides. And then we're going to turn it down and let that beef cook till it's tender. little pepper little salt all right then we're just going to shove our beef right into there all right we're going to stir it up in there and just going to get it seared just brown on all sides I'm going to use about medium high heat, keep stirring it until everything gets all seared and then we'll put a lid on it and just let it cook until the beef gets tender. Now remember what we're cooking here is called, it's a Venezuela dish called carne machada or machada, I'm not sure, I think it would be machada. Uh, I'm sure Manny will let me know if I pronounced it wrong, carne machada inside of our pupusa. As Manny says, that's what this is for. You can put this in a tortilla. He says you can eat it by itself on all sides of rice or a vegetable, whatever. It's just good beef. How can you go wrong with spiced up beef? Okay, I left out a couple important parts from Manny's recipe. We want to put three bay leaves in this also. And we're going to throw a little bit of dry wet red wine in it. Just a little bit. We're going to cook that get all those flavors together. Okay, now that all my meat is brown, I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it. And I'm going to turn my heat down to about medium and just let that cook until that meat is so tender it's just falling apart. That's our goal, falling apart meat. Now, if it's not where you want it to be and all your liquid and moisture is cooked out, go ahead and add back some red wine if you want to. Or you can add some beef broth. If you want to, you can add some water, but if you add some water, Go ahead and add yourself a little salt and pepper while you do it. And we'll let that cook some more. We want this thing just to be tender and juicy. All right, according to Manny, we want this to be shredded up. So I'm gonna go ahead, it's nice and tender now. I've been cooking it a couple hours. Everything's cooked together. All those onions have become one. And the garlic, oh, it's nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it into the food processor and shred it up. Okay, I just put all my beef right into my food processor. Put my lid on it. I'm going to pray it up. Not too much. I don't want it to be like baby food, you understand? I just want to have some nice shredded beef and we're going to put it in our pupusa. Okay, now we're going to make the sauce for our carne machada. We're going to put a whole chopped up onion and some olive oil. We're going to put two chopped up bell peppers. I chopped up a red one and a yellow one. I like to have a little color in my food. And we're going to saute these bad boys until they start sweating out some flavor. Then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that shredded beef that I cooked, the flavored so well, and I'm going to add my shredded beef right back to this bad boy 
with all those peppers and onions. Then I'm going to add me a little jar of pimentos. Then I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce. That's just going to be two cans of tomato sauce. A little bit of garlic. The garlic I had left over, why not throw some garlic up in there? I'm going to stir this up and get it to cooking and get this thing to become one. That's what we're trying to do. We want this thing to become one. Shredded beef, tomatoes and peppers and onions. Oh man. I'm going to put a teaspoon of oregano in there. I'm going to put about a half teaspoon of cumin in there. Get that all stirred around mixed up in there. Okay, we've been cooking about 30 minutes or so. Give it a stir, make sure we're not burning, see what's going on. Looking good, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like. I've never seen this before. Manny, let us know if I cooked it right. If I didn't, I'll try it again. Okay, this is how we're gonna make our pupusa. What I've done is I've taken some mesa corn flour, I add a little water to it, and I'm rolled into a ball. And now I'm just gonna take my thumb and put a little hole, cave, what do you want to call it, down inside my dough, my pupusa wrapper. It's going to make me a little concave down in there so that I can fill it with my goodness and then fry it up. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this bad boy with my stuff. So I want to make a hole in that thing. Like that. Leaving my outer shell about a quarter inch thick. If I can do that. If I can make it about a quarter inch all the way around. Then I'm just going to put me some cheddar cheese. Now I know Papoose is supposed to have some special cheese up in it for uh, you know Salvadoran cheese. I don't have none of that. So I'm using some cheddar because that's what I have. And then I'm going to take some of that shredded beef, a uh, Venezuelan carne micata, and I'm going to put it right inside of there like that. I'm not going to try to put too much, just enough down inside there. And I add a little cheese to this side maybe. All right. And then what I've got to do is try to get this bad boy to do a ball. I took some of that out. I put too much in. I close up my hole, and what I do is I try to mash this out as flat as I can get it. I want it to be, if I can, four or five inches in diameter. Just kind of make it flat without your inside coming out. You want your insides to stay in. If your insides come out, then you ain't doing it right. All right, and we'll slap that down on top of some wax paper. You can use some plastic wrap. Put some plastic wrap on top of it, and then just roll it out with your rolling pin till it's about five or six inches in diameter. Right, that's kind of ugly. We need to try this again, but we'll call that one. Then we're gonna put us a flat one right on top of it. All right, just like putting a lid on top of it. And then we're gonna fold over our edges and make them seal up. We have our pupusa with our carne micata inside it, which is chow chow, which is pickled cabbage. Uh, it's a southern dish, uh, similar to the cotito, I think you call it, but it's just a southern thing. It's got little hot peppers in it, and it's just some cooked cabbage. Uh, it's been pickled, pickled cabbage. Very, very good. Goes along with our uh, uh, pupusa very well. Anyway, I hope y'all like this. I know it might not look like what you get in the pupuseria. But that's what you get in Dave's house. All right. Okay, this has been Cooking with Dave once again. Uh, we cooked pupusa with carne ricotta as our insides. Put a little cheese with it. And we served up some chow chow on the side, which is a pickled cabbage. It's very good. Uh, the carne ricotta, you can't go wrong. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks.